Like with any car, eventually the tires in your DB9 are either going to wear out because it's your daily driver, or they're going to age out because you don't drive it very much and the rubber's going to get old and brittle. So after about five years, you end up having to replace them anyways. When it comes time to change the tire, the question is, what do you replace it with? And we have some options and I wanted to share what I'd learned while I was preparing to change my tires so you can just cut to the chase and get something that's just right for you. So how do we figure out what size of tire we need? Well, we could just come and look at the existing tire on the car. But if you're the second or third owner for the car, how do you know they haven't tinkered around and selected a different size or a slightly incorrect tire? So I think there's a better way. So a better way to find out the actual sizes of the tires you need are to check, lo and behold, the owner's manual. And if you look in the index and you look up specifications for your tires, it'll tell you right here. Another place, at least in US vehicles, you can always find your tire specifications is right on the driver's side door. There's a sticker here that tells us what size we need. Now the size we actually need is a 235 slash 40 ZR19 for the front and a 275 slash 35 ZR19 for the rear. So everything in those tire sizes matters. Um, so 275, well, the first number is the width of the tire tread, generally in millimeters from shoulder to shoulder. Uh, so uh, you notice the front tires were different. They were 235 at the front, 275 at the rear. That means the front tires are narrower than the rear tires. So 275 slash, then the next number, which was 40 at the front or 35 at the rear, that's actually the height of the sidewall. It's a percentage of the width of the tire. So that's why the fronts are 40% of the slightly narrower tire and the rears are 35% of the slightly wider. They want to have about the same height on the sidewalls. So 275, 35, ZR. Well, Z is a speed rating. It means the tire is rated for 149 miles per hour or faster, but there's actually a, a different speed rating we have to pay attention to I haven't mentioned yet. R just means radial tire. All tires nowadays are radial. And the 19 means the diameter of the rim. So it's 19 inches from top to bottom. So not written right on here, but also part of the specification is the front tires need to be a 92Y. 92 is the load rating. Um, that's how much weight the tire can uh, carry at a sustained speed. Um, uh, 92, I think, stands for something like 1,389 pounds. Y is actually the speed rating. ZR is a speed rating, but it just means 149 or more miles per hour. Y is actually the highest rating there is. A Y-rated tire means it can take sustained speeds of 186 miles per hour or more. So we have 92Y tires on the front. The rears actually need to be a slightly higher load rating. They're a 96Y, which means they can take something more like 1,700 pounds of uh, uh, load. And the Y is again 186 uh, or more miles per hour sustain, sustained speeds. So now that we know what size of tire to be looking for, what are our options? Well, the original equipment manufacturer, the OEM tire, is actually a Bridgestone Potenza RE050A. That was the tire that Aston Martin designed the suspension around. So this is probably the best tire you can choose for a compromise between grip, handling, noise, and all the other features. If you want your car to work just like it was when it was new, put on a set of OEM Bridgestone Potenzas. I looked up a set of these tires on TireRack.com, and for all four tires, it would be $1,152, plus tax, plus shipping, and you still have to go out and find somebody to mount, balance, and install them for you. Another very popular option that's discussed a lot in the forums is the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. This tire is a little bit more performance oriented. It's a little grippier. It's a little more aggressive looking on the shoulder than the original OEM Bridgestone. So this is the one that a lot of people go for if they're going for more of a sport type of ride. There's some other good news about this tire. It's actually about three pounds lighter, which is about 10% lighter than the original OEM tire. So that's always a good thing. You want a lighter tire to reduce the unsprung weight of the car. I've run these tires for about four months now and I found them to be pretty nice. Um, they're definitely a little grippier. Uh, they're a little more progressive 
you know, when you're reaching the limits, they, they aren't howling as much as the Bridgestones. They're actually uh, quite communicative, so you can hang on more in the corners and know when it's starting to give way. So I've really enjoyed them. Probably the only thing I've got to say that's not as nice is they're just a little bit noisier. Um, that might just be perception of some sort, but uh, it's nothing worth worrying about. I looked up a set of these on TireRack.com and all four tires, uh, including shipping, were $1,168. That's about $16 more than the OEM Bridgestones, which is pretty much the exact same price. Remember, you still have to pay for uh, mounting and balancing and installing. Um, so I've talked about Bridgestones, I've talked about the Michelin Pilots. Um, there are other uh, tires. I just didn't want to include uh, in a discussion of stuff I haven't run in my own car uh, firsthand. So uh, there's other models of tires from uh, Michelin. They have the, uh, the Pilot Sport Cup. This is their track day tire, super grippy. You probably won't get a lot of miles out of it, but it'll probably hold uh, the ground like uh, amazingly. Uh, Bridgestone also has a higher performance tire called the S04 uh, pole position. Um, I haven't run those either, but again, it's supposed to be an advanced, more track type tire. And Continental actually offers a tire in this size as well. It's a little bit cheaper. You could probably get a complete set of four for under a thousand bucks. So maybe those would be worth checking out. So you have one more option to consider, and this is a good one. When the DB9 was sold, it was offered with a Sport Pack option. Now the Sport Pack was basically a series of uh, even dealer installable uh, components for the car where they made it uh, more performance oriented. One of the things they did is they put on wider tires. They actually increased the tread width about 10 millimeters. So the fronts became 245 40 ZR19s and the rears became 285 35 ZR19s. And the good news is, is that they did not change the rim size. They just actually put a wider tire onto the, sta the standard width rim. What that means is that we can fit sport pack tires onto our original standard car rims without having to worry about it rubbing the fenders or hitting any of the inner suspension parts. And we can get some of that advantage of the sport pack. It's also nice because you get kind of that wider stance look, the tire's a little meatier looking. And if you're into performance, that's something you might want having on your car. So this is definitely the option to follow if you're into sort of the sportier uh, performance driving aspect of your car. I looked up a set of the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, that's the grippier Michelin um, tires on TireRack.com, and a set of all four is just $1,184. That's just $16 more than the standard OEM size tire. So you get the little bit wider tire um, for just about four bucks extra a corner. So this is really um, uh, probably the way to go if you're into the performance aspect of your DB9. So what would I recommend? Well. If you've never driven on the original Bridgestone OEM size tire, I'd actually say that should be the first thing you choose. Put a set of those on and run them so you can really experience what Aston Martin designed the car to be like. Then you can tinker around with trying different tires later on in life here as you put some miles on the car. If you like to just play it safe and you just want your car to stay the same, well, sure, just put on a set of the original Bridgestones as well. But if you're interested in doing the performance, you know, you, you like to go a little bit faster in your DB9 and you enjoy, um, you know, experiencing the, uh, the thrill of the car, I'd say go for the Sport Pack sized Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Spend the $1,187 and go out and enjoy the car. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, up here, you're going to see my latest video on how to actually get the tires installed on the car. Down here, there should be a companion blog link that you can go to my website and actually find links to all the things at TireRack.com, etc. Um, if you enjoy these videos, please go ahead and subscribe and you'll get automatically notified whenever I publish a new video. And as always, I love hearing your comments, so I'd love to hear what you're riding on on your car and your experiences with the tires, so please leave some comments down below. Thanks for watching.